Let's head over to the phones and on the line we'll find Bridget Finn, Director of Marketing for the Rockford Public Library. Bridget, good morning. Good morning, Riley. How are you this morning, Bridget? I'm well, thanks so much for having me. I'm glad to have you on the show because people have questions about, you know, what's going on with the library. Like everybody else, you know, you've got the shutdown going on, but that doesn't mean you're out of the game, does it? No, not at all. In fact, Rockford Public Library, our physical collection and everything that people think of when they come in to borrow books is really just the tip of the iceberg as far as what we offer. And as much as it's a drag to be trapped in our homes like this, it's a great opportunity for people to come and take a look at the, the huge amount of free digital entertainment and, and educational materials we have available to them for nothing. See, and that's the really cool thing, because I, I know of people of a certain age, you think library, well, I, I, I would go down there and, and, and get a book. But, you know, things have, have changed over the years, and it is so much more than that. So, all right, for the person who's found themselves, uh, you know, sheltered at home, locked down, but they still want to reach out for some of that entertainment you're talking about, what do you have and how do they get it? Okay, well, first of all, what we've done to help really accommodate people now is that you can go ahead and get your library card or re-up your library card online through our website. Oh, so cool. if you go, our website's rockfordpubliclibrary.org, and if you go to that, and right across at the top navigation bar, it says how to get a card. You go and fill out that form, then our circulation people will, who are working remotely will make sure that you get a library card number so that you can access anything you need. So don't think because you let your library card expire in fourth grade that you <laughs> aren't able to <laughs> react with the library. We're making it available to everyone in Rockford. I like how you looked right into my soul on that one with the yeah, expired <laughs> in fourth grade. Yeah, I think that might be close. Maybe it might have been fifth. I don't know, but we were around there. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Just go online and get it all done quick and easily. And, well, it, it does take a moment. They do have to go through those forms and get them back to you, but they will do that. Another thing that I want everyone to understand is that we are working. So if you have any questions, anything about the library and what we offer specific to your needs, you can send an email to info at rockfordpubliclibrary.org, and someone will call you back and answer whatever questions that you have. Nice. Yeah, it's it's it's. We're really trying to serve and, and successfully serving people, and I just want them to know that it's not automated. I mean, we have to take the message, but we will call you back. We're really working to, to serve our community during this time. So once you have access to us, and even before then, there's so much that you can access right through the library. Um, for one thing, a lot of the databases that Rockford Public Library, or a number of them that um, Rockford Public Library invests in, have opened up their access to anyone, whether they have a library card or not. And um, three of those I can tell you about right now. One is called Gale Open Access, and uh, you can reach that link through our website as well. Um, and that will give homeschooling materials for all ages, from kindergarten through college. Um, so I have three kids in high school myself, and they can access anything they need for research for any of the e-learning that they're they're attempting to do right now. Outstanding. Um, it is. Um, another is World Book Online. You remember World Book Encyclopedias. Sure. They have completely opened their access to anyone. Now, these, these are open access databases that you don't need a library card for. Anyone can get this. And then the third is a database you might not know called Tumble Books Online. And that is for younger children. And they're like storybooks that are read to them and they're uh, animated and read along and really I see that as a great opportunity for parents to take a breather and um, put their young kids in front of something that is educating them. It's not exactly garbage television. It's, <laughs> it's introducing them to literature and that's exciting and good. Absolutely. This is something, you know, if mine were younger, I would have been uh, jumping all over this, especially at a time like this. But now in their 20s, it's hard to get them into my lap for a book. But there's lots of parents out there <laughs> who are, are, are looking for just that opportunity. That's great to have that. Right. And then for all ages, you know, through our website and our databases, you can stream ebooks, audiobooks, music. We have the Sony's entire digital library of music available to you, um, movies, lectures, magazines, all through our databases. And 
What you want to do is, again, go to our website, and across the top navigation bar, there's a little option that's research it. And you can see A to Z list of all databases. And just really get in there and explore anything that you want to find. Hey, hey, um, real yeah. quick. I'm sorry. Hey, Bridget, um, I, I have a late fee from, like, 1996. What kind of interest am I looking at to get clear with you guys? <laughs> Actually, it's... It's pretty outstanding. If you, um, again, send that email, you'd be surprised. We're pretty forgiving these days. Awesome. I can't make any promises, but okay. we're, <laughs> wink, wink, very forgiving. <laughs> outstanding. Bridget, unfortunately, I could talk to you for an hour and a half. You are absolutely awesome, but uh, we're playing out of time on that one. Info at rockfordpubliclibrary.org is the best uh, way to go about finding out anything or just go right to the website, right? Or, or our Facebook page as well. We're doing digital story times. Our librarians are reading a poem a day. There's so much to tune into right now that we're putting out into our ethers, and that's where you'll find it all announced. Look, Bridget, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. News to be next. Me.